Hey, it's me. I'm back. I came right back. I just made a batch of soap, as I showed you, and it exploded in the oven again. And I'm getting a little pissed off with hot process, oven process, but I will not let it defeat me because I'm back to make my oatmeal cookies. It's another one of my bear bars. There's no fragrance or anything, just the natural scent of the honey that I have in here. Uh, I have honey in here and colloidal oats. It's another great natural bar for people who don't like fragrances or they're allergic to certain fragrances. It's, it's a nice soap. And um, my lye solution here is mostly oat milk. It's oat milk with 5% coconut milk as well. And it's all slurried up. I'm about to put the lye in here and then mix it all up. So once my lye solution is ready to pour, I will bring you back. Okay, so I think my lye solution is ready now. So first let me buzz up my oils because it has lots of honey in there. I put 5% honey. <laughs> Oh wait, no. First we're going to put in some colloidal oats that I got from um, Wholesale Supplies Plus. Buzz that in the oil first. Should I open this up before I put my bread in? this all up. <laughs> now with all this honey in here, there's a good chance that this is going to um, volcano again. I don't know. I thought it was because of the stearic acid. But I stopped using stearic acid, and then it happened again today, and there was no stearic acid, but there was a lot of cocoa butter, so maybe that was it. I don't know. Maybe my oven was too high. It was on 200. Maybe I'm going to try to put it down to 180 now. Maybe I just need a taller pot. I don't know. So I'm going to try to figure it out because I do like this method of soaping. <laughs> That's well incorporated. Now, here's my lye solution, which is very thick. This is the um, the oat milk, which I did not make myself. I didn't feel like squeezing out a bunch of oats. I got it from the supermarket. And there's also a little coconut milk in here, and it turns it this bright orange color, but it does not smell burnt at all. Maybe because it's not an animal fat. I don't have that problem. Um, so, here we go. Let me pour this in. Ooh. Bit of a splash, that's why I wear this whole face mask. Let me get a spatula so I can get every drop out of here, you know how that goes. Okay. Okay, that should be good enough. Now I got it over my stick blender. Let's blend this up. Usually I put the honey in afterwards, but I just 
figured I would put everything in out all at once this time because um, I really don't want it to be fluid too fluid when I take it out because I have to make it look like cookies so I don't want it to be really loose <laughs> Bore you to death. Pause. Okay, so it's at a medium trace, and it's, that's good enough for me. Look how dark it is. Ooh, it's like a brick red kind of color, but it's not going to stay that way. Once the soap cures out, it'll it won't be that dark. And when I when I don't add the honey until after the cook, it comes out really light. The, my son was like, "That doesn't look like oatmeal cookies anymore. They're too light." So I that's another reason why I decided to put the honey in at the um you know and have it cooked so that they can be a little bit darker. Okay, so I'm afraid, but I'm going to pop this in the oven right now. I'm going to turn my oven down, and I'm going to open the door every two minutes. <laughs> so I'll bring you back when it's done. So it's been almost an hour. It's been 55 minutes, and it's not done yet. Nowhere near. I think maybe because every five minutes I'm opening the oven door because I'm scared it's going to come out of the pot again. But look what happened. It's it's separated. It's nothing but like oil on the top and everything. And you know, when I first saw this, I got really nervous thinking that that means this is a bust and it's a big waste. But I just remembered when you make hot process in the crock pot, and in the, you know, the double boiler method, it goes through a separation stage. So I'm hoping that that's all it's doing now. Because I've never had it go through the separation stage when I make it in the oven. Hot process, oven process, it usually goes directly, just straight to gel, and that's it. So, but this is definitely separating. I'm hoping this is just, a, you know, one of the stages. Otherwise, maybe I put too much honey in it. I don't know. In any case, I'm going to stick blend this and stir it a little bit more, and then I'm going to put it back in the oven. Okay, it's finally done. That took a ridiculously long time to cook. Uh, like I showed you, it had totally separated, which freaked me out. I thought I was in a lot of trouble, uh, but it was just the separation phase, and I stick blended and stirred it up for another few minutes. Then I put it back in the oven, and after about 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, it was done. But it was really fluid, just like the last um, batch that I made, practically pourable. So what I did after that is I put it on the stove in a double boiler to see if that could, you know, make it a little stiffer, a little thicker. And just a little bit it did, but it's still very fluid for what I need to make these, to make it look like cookies. So I'm going to just let this sit with the lid off for about 10 minutes and see if it gets a little stiffer because I kind of need the crusties now. <laughs> so I'll bring you back. Okay, well let's wrap this up. I've been making this soap for hours, literally. It's ridiculous, but it's all gelled and done now. It's still pretty fluid for a hot process. That's, I don't know, that's a good thing, but not right now with what I need to do. So um, I'm just going to show you a couple of how I do these cookies and then that's it there'll be no cutting video or anything because I just have to wait a few weeks for them to cure and then I package them up so here we go what I do is take this ice cream scooper and I scoop some out and I just plop it on there and I plop out four ounces. So each bar of soap is four ounces.
Ooh, that's a little more, but that's fine. And then I sprinkle a little bit of oatmeal on top. So I said this is messy. And then I just kind of smash it down. And then I repeat that. Do one more. I hope. Wait, I didn't even check to see if you guys could see that. Let me bring it closer. Put the wax paper there. And I plop four ounces of soap. That's perfect. And then I sprinkle some oats on the top. And I kind of try to smash it around, make it look like a cookie. And that's that. And like I said, it's going to get lighter. Let me show you what it looks like when I package it up. I sell them two in a pack, like that. Now this one, as I said earlier, I put the honey in after the cook, so that's why they're so light, as opposed to these being so dark when I put the honey in while it was cooking. However, this is not going to stay this dark. It's, it's going to be much darker than this, but it's not going to be like this. So, there you have it. Those are my oatmeal cookies, part of my Bear Bar line. Thank you so much for watching and sticking around for this long video. Well, it was long for me. You guys were paused for like ever, but this was a long soap. But it's worth it. It's a great soap. And hot process soap might take a long time in the oven, but you don't have to wait four to six weeks to use it. I use my hot process soap a couple of days after I make it. I don't sell it until I let it sit for about two weeks just so that it can get harder and not, you know, melt so quickly in the shower. But that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.